you guys, welcome to my channel, and I just did a Wonder Woman cosplay, a black Wonder Woman cosplay, on my Instagram, so I figured I already dress, might as well just make a video for Saturday. Dressed as Wonder Woman. So since we are on the topic of Instagram, I got a message the other day talking about how they wanted to start a YouTube and talk about the topics that I talk about, but they're scared of the backlash or the mean comments that they might get because of the sensitive topics and their opinion. And they wanted some advice on that. So I'm going to give you my black Wonder Woman advice. Yeah, I'm having way too much fun with this outfit. Okay, staying on top. Okay, wait, one more flex. All right. I'm done. So mean comments on Instagram or YouTube. So I wanna talk about a comment that I received just last week on my Instagram. Now I have never came across someone on Instagram who was so triggered, who I barely responded to. He is just so upset every time he comments and I'm not too sure why. So this guy started out fine and I used to respond to him in the comment section because I stay pretty active with you guys in my comment section on Instagram. Then something shifted with this dude. Dude, something went a little odd and he went cuckoo for Cocoa Puff. But he started leaving odd comments where I was just like, yeah, not gonna respond to that. He would call me a man, change my name from Michelle to Michael saying, you know, I'm a man. Saying that I take steroids. Are you serious? Can we just talk about this logically? I don't compete. I'm not jacked. Like maybe to normal people, I am jacked. But in the fitness industry, my body is literally nothing special. I'm not that lean. I have quite the amount of healthy body fat on my ass. I'm strong, but I'm not like crazy strong. I don't have some abnormal amount of strength. I like to think that I do, but in reality, I don't. Steroids cost money and I am cheap as I wouldn't make any type of sense for me to take steroids. One. Two, if I'm gonna take steroids and I look like this, what the If I'm gonna take something that's pretty bad for your health, I want to be extremely huge and lean all the time. And I'm just not, I feel like my body shows that I like to work out, I like to eat healthy with the occasional hot Cheeto bag. So just logically speaking, steroids just don't make sense when it comes to me. Three, I also think it's very funny that if you get an altercation with someone and if that other person has just a slight bit of muscle, the person that is upset will just automatically say, you take steroids. So this dude decided to comment this on my profile. I'm thinking about unsubscribing. You boring as hell now. So I kindly responded and said, why think about it? Just leave. Bye. So one, I was thinking about time, he's very odd and adds nothing to my profile or my life. Whenever he comments, I'm just like, and two, does anyone else find it odd when people have to announce that they are unsubscribing? I don't walk into a store and find that they don't have what I'm looking for and then scream, excuse me, everyone in this store. I am now leaving because you guys do not have hot Cheeto asteroid. Because I know the 16 year old cashier doesn't give a flying puck that they don't carry hot Cheeto asteroid. Nobody cares, just leave. And the other thing that I just find so fascinating that this guy would think that I would care so much that he was leaving. So he felt like he had to tell me. I have unfollowed people or maybe not even followed people before and I don't feel the need to tell them because I don't think I'm anything special. I'm just one person. Both of our lives are gonna go on. Anyone else feel like that? Like, okay, just... Go. So I already knew what was going to happen if I decided to respond to that announcement of him unsubscribing or unfollowing me. When it comes to his repetitive comments and his insults, I just knew he was trying to get attention. So I knew the moment I was gonna respond, he was gonna go ham. And Mr. Umar, or whatever his real name is, because he's got 50,000 other Facebooks and Instagram profiles, did. Because these type of Instagram dwellers want attention, which is why I usually never respond to their odd comments. Any type of attention they will thrive off of. I really think it's a fetish or an obsession, and you'll see here why in a second. So I respond one time to this guy with that comment that I just shared with you, and then he goes ham. My other followers, which I love you guys for, that's very nice of you guys to stick up for me, but they start sticking up for me, and I personally don't feel the need to go back and forth with somebody like this guy. But I definitely respond to you people. So I responded to one of my followers and dude goes crazy. 
So all of the comments are still on my Instagram, but basically he was saying that I take steroids, saying because of the use of steroids is the reason why my forehead is so big, and he calls it a six head, but excuse you, it's a seven head. Get it right, I've had it since I was little. Can't see it now because of my crown, but it runs in my family for my wonderful father's side, saying that I have to wear wigs because of the steroids, and then ending it with calling me a shaved ape. Etc. cetera, et cetera of insults that I cried for days over. And then he says, block me. Like he wants to get blocked, Like he wants to provoke people in general just to get blocked and he gets off on getting blocked. So eventually I get a sh poop ton of messages from men and women saying, this dude is a certified, certified. Freak. He's friends with Alan Roberts from Everyday Damn Fitness, and he's in the fitness group, and all he does is insult everybody. Since they're friends, that dude thinks he can do whatever he wants, and he does. So I received a shh poop emoji of messages saying that they're extremely upset with Alan for being friends with him, saying they're upset with Alan for having this go on in the group and not doing anything about it. So I was not going to bring up Alan's name in this video, but then, this guy said a comment that I was just like, are you talking about? So basically, I've talked to Alan before. I really like him. We follow each other on Instagram. I've been on his podcast. I've talked to him for over an hour. I think he's a very cool dude. And a lot of you guys have said, oh, you're like the female version of Everyday Damn Fitness. That's a compliment to me, and I enjoy a lot of Alan's videos. God damn! Yep, Alan, I had to take your catchphrase. <clears throat> but anyway, so the people that were messaging me, I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm already making a video about it. I'll make sure to mention it to Alan. And before I could even message Alan, he messaged me and he was like, hey, that guy has nothing to do with everyday damn fitness. He's out of the group and I'm not too sure what his issue is. So I don't think that Alan is friends with this guy. When you have a internet business and you're an internet personality, I'm pretty sure sure he's not going to publicly be friends with this guy and let this guy do whatever he wants in his group. This guy is the complete opposite of what Alan stands for. So anyone that I forgot to message back who took the time to message me on Instagram about the situation, thank you for messaging me. I lose quite a bit of messages when it comes to Instagram. But in Alan's defense, I don't think he was friends with this guy. He's just a busy dude, probably didn't see what was going on. Now he did, and he did something about it. Thumbs up, Alan's a great guy. But this guy right here said something in the comment section like, oh, you get a little bit of fame after I introduce you to Everyday Damn Fitness, and you get on his podcast, and now you think you're somebody. Basically said, that he made me and dude I have 20,000 wait 21 because of you guys followers on Instagram if we're gonna talk numbers that's basically nothing so if you're bragging about making me you didn't do a good job so he needs to calm down with all of that but like I said that was the comment that I was like maybe Alan is friends with him because he's still in the group and he's you know talking about that so maybe they are friends but Alan totally cleared all of that up so like I said this guy was totally like normal follower when he first started following me and then there was a turning point. And the people who messaged me informed me that this guy has a certified hate for Asian men. And I remembered in one of my random videos, I mentioned that I dated an Asian guy. And it was like a 0.2 millisecond conversation in my video that I didn't think anybody would focus on because most of us are normal people who don't focus on who other people date. But this guy did, and I think that's what was his trigger point. Me dating an Asian guy and Man, to have that much passion when it comes to who someone decides to date, who you've never really spoken to or knew or know in real life, man, that takes a lot of uh, passion. But he's out of Everyday Damn Fitness's group. He is part of other fitnesses group, so if you see this guy and his 500 other Facebook and Instagram profiles, just block him. He's bored. And Asian man, he is very intimidated by you. That's pretty much a compliment in my book. But like I said, nothing to do with everyday damn fitness. He's out of the group. I blocked him from my profile because I usually don't block people. If you have a different opinion about whatever I'm talking about, totally fine. I'm down for different opinions. But if you are threatening people on my page, threatening me, doing racial comments, you are making my profile a just uncomfortable place to be on. And I like my profile to be fun and about cosplay 
cosplays and, and, and fun things and nice healthy discussion. So people who want to mess that up and just be a little racial, creepy, hairy person loses the privilege to see memes and Yoshi pictures. So to respond to the original message that I got earlier this week about people giving you mean comments, if you put yourself out there on any type of social media platform, even if all of your content is positive and nice and happy and no matter how beautiful you are or how gorgeous you are or how put together you look, you are going to get mean comment. Can't avoid them and people will say some pretty mean, evil, and vile shit to you. And this is gonna sound very cheesy, but they say these things because they want you to feel as shitty as they feel. I mean, do you think this guy who leaves those kind of comments on everybody's profile is living his absolute best life? That's the answer. He is not a happy person. There is something going on in his life that he wants to take out on me, on Asian men, and whoever else he can get to. So if you wanna start a YouTube or an Instagram, get ready because it opens you up to some pretty odd people, or in internet words, trolls. But it also opens you up to a crap ton of opportunity and an outlet to express your creativity, which feels amazing. And it opens you up to a sea of amazing, positive, sweet, and good-hearted people. And I do truly believe that there are more sweet and kind people than, um, these. And to me, that's worth it. And I'm talking to you, you nice people, not you. You. So that's enough of that negativity. So let me just take my Wonder Woman powers and we'll just move him, move that negativity right off the screen. And let me talk to my artistic people really quick. So you guys have been so freaking cute about sending me fan art and I completely am just envious of the amount of talent that you guys have to be able to draw me because we have all seen my stick figures in my story times. So if you guys are interested in having your art show up in my, what's that thing like right above the YouTube like banner when you click on my profile, you know where like on my thing right now, the cats are like flipping you off. You guys have been sending me these art and I was like, it'd be kind of cool to maybe like change the whole cats flipping everybody off thing. So if you're interested in having a chance of having your amazing art become part of whatever that thing, the banner is called on YouTube, on my channel, make sure to draw your picture, put it on Instagram, tag me in the picture, not in the description. I feel like I miss a lot of your guys's mentions and comments and then it makes me feel bad. So I want to be able to see your guys's pictures. So make sure to tag me like in the photo. So then your pictures end up on my tag pages and it is easy for me to see and admire your beautiful artwork. A lot of you guys will DM them to me and sometimes I see them, sometimes I don't. And when I do see them, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then I want to go back and like give you guys credit and then I can't find you guys. I want to put you in my videos. I want to tag you. And then I'm, I, I'm just, I'm a mess. I am a complete mess. So to make it easy on me and make you findable, please tag me in the photo so that I will be able to see your amazing artwork. Please do not DM them to me. I love when you guys talk to me, but I am a mess when it comes to DMs and I am trying to get to everyone. But like I said, it's kind of hard. So please don't be offended if I'm not responding to your DMs. Like I said, you guys are amazing. I am envious and jealous of your skill. One of my favorites was this one right here. My God, the curves, the curves that she gave me. If you give me amazing curves oh, I will love come here I will <laughs> I will love you long time you guys are just so good and amazing and I am just very grateful that you guys can draw these pictures and make me look so put together because in real life I am just a mess and I want to say thank you for that so thank you for completely making me look just great so remember if you want to start a YouTube channel or an Instagram page and you are just a creative person you want that creativeness to flow through you but afraid of some negative comments. Yes, people are going to be negative because some people just have nothing else to do. But like I said, there are a bunch of amazing, good-hearted people that are going to just love the fact that you are sharing whatever thing that you wanna share. And I think that you should do that. So remember that, and on that note, I am going to now go run around my neighborhood in this outfit because people already think that I'm a freak and I'm gonna prove them right. Let's do this.